sparkling. Oh ho. So we know what stuff to take to Randall's house. Hello, my fellow sniffers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and welcome to my channel. Guess what? There's no birds in the house. Well, there's no bird cages. What is going on? Where are all the birds? Oh, yeah. And <laughs> for those of you who think you want parrots, I mean... Maybe not, right? Maybe you could see some of the real damage. That's Vinny. But actually, um, we're really good at fixing that kind of stuff. Guess what we are doing today? We are doing like a revamp, cage revamp. It'll probably be like a cage tour, probably be like a nine cage tour. All the toys, I pulled everything off. Everything is getting pressure washed. All right, so where are all the birds while this pressure washing is happening? And we're talking all the cages, all the stands. So the house looks like a bomb hit it. Jersey, what do you have to say about this? Huh? Yeah. Ooh. Every so often, it's a really good thing to make sure that you do deep cleaning on your bird's cages. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret for you ladies out there, okay? So usually, George pressure washes the cages. You've seen him do it many times, whether it be on my Instagram, check out my Instagram, at Marlene McCohen, to watch uh, my daily dramatic life. It's not really that dramatic, but it's definitely entertaining. So you guys know George pressure washes the cages, but you also know that he works a lot and literally passes out all over the place. And for you ladies, out there you know how it can be to get like a guy to do something sometimes you know so I took matters into my own hands and George doesn't know this and I had somebody come and pressure wash all the cages so these are the kind of things you have to do when you know your guy's not home and doesn't know about it because you know if you say I'm gonna get someone to pressure wash it like, no no I'll do it and then you think like so do it so he's gonna come home and it's all gonna be done that's how he's going to learn the power of not taking everything on yourself it's gonna be like wow I entered and everything is clean but that doesn't make it easy we have to revamp everything now so where are the birds here's one Rocky's over here his whole thing is getting pressure washed too right Rocky Rocky has a stand with a pool all right look at the state of that he could do that in literally one day still we're gonna be pressure washing it as you guys could have guessed the birds are outside chilling so we got Cody out here <laughs> Yeah, we got Vinny out here. We got Merlin out here. As you guys know, the stand had a ton of rope on it and chains. I took all of that off. The chain can be washed. I mean, really, rope could technically be washed, but honestly, those kind of materials, who knows what they absorb over time, so it's just nice to start afresh. Dee, are you excited about that? So lots of toys, like if the toys are relatively clean, I pull them off, I don't wanna soak them for any reason. And then there's other toys, you just really just wanna get everything out of the cage. You can pressure wash something. Basically, you're gonna be making three decisions to keep the way it is to wash or to throw it out so things like this i keep them the way they are but pull them out and then some other little things let's see what do we have here that i would like put everything in the dishwasher for a good wash you know here would be something that you probably throw out you could take things apart and repurpose them things like the chains they are relatively clean but not really they need like a good dishwashing to keep them okay guys so it's actually next day all right uh long story but before we get into that this is brando watch what happens when he sees his toy at <laughs> he's excited <laughs> it looks like he doesn't like his toy but he's excited about it this is how this bird shows his excitement yeah the first time he saw it out of his cage he was shocked so what happened was, all the cages got clean. I got all of the paper in them on top, nice white paper. I washed all of the birds' cage covers. Then truthfully, I mailed all your packages and all that, so it became time to do that. So today, I'm gonna have George help me put all the stuff in the cages. Oh, what's going on, George? What are you doing? I didn't realize the sun was so bright in the house. I'm in my uh, vacation mode. You're in vacation mode? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm filming. What are you making? Food. Of course, Blue is starting her morning up on the tree. Let's see what everyone's doing. What are you doing? Oh. What's going on? 
time, because George is cooking right now with the pan, certain birds are not out and about. One, being Cody, because Cody kind of loves to fly around the kitchen. Two, being Vinny. Vinny wouldn't go over there. He's gonna come out when the pan stops. Marlon's also obsessed with the kitchen, so we keep him safe until George is done with the pan. All right, guys, so here we are. This process is not easy, okay? Well, here's what happened. We just had breakfast, and one day I wish I could just show you guys what breakfast looks like with all of the birds, but I'd need to, like, probably set up the camera because they're all on me, you know what I mean? So it's just, yeah, but if you guys want that, I, I really need, like, a videographer going, and now this one's here and this one's there. Anyway, I put all the, the these in a box, okay? And these are the ones that we had in the cages. And so we're gonna investigate them. If any of them need to be washed, we'll wash them. And we're gonna put new toys in. So I brought some other new things out. So, finish! We're gonna redo your cage now, again. Oh. I brought all different toys that were in the feathered fun box. We have Planet Pleasures. We have Jungle Toys. Obviously, I don't have all the feathered fun box toys, but I do have some left over. So for Jersey, we like to put stuff with strings and such because she likes to relieve her anxiety on little tiny details like that. This, I don't even know whose cage this was in, but I bet Vinny would like it. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do this myself and film. Okay, so if you guys have any birds that are prone to plucking, some of the good toys are Planet Pleasures, where they can pull it apart just pieces upon pieces. Jersey's really into those kind of fine details, stuff with strings. These toys all the birds love with the shoelaces. Oh my God, they love these. Jersey also loves these shoelaces, as you've seen in the Feathered Fun Box. You've also seen the pineapple that I just showed you guys in the feathered fun box. I found something Brando likes. Brando's gonna get this toy. Oh yeah, Cody's gonna love that. Excited, Cody? Yeah? We should just put all the toys on the table and all the birds on the table and see what toys they like. Leo, is there something you would like here? I think Cody likes this toy. some toys. Guys, I have some crown jewels. My jersey's on the go. She's looking at me all offended. Like, why didn't you just give those straight to me? She's so excited. First of all, that toy is like Brando still on it. So that's gonna be perfect for Brando. My baby wants to come in all. I wonder if Nellie would like, because I have more of these, so we could see if Nellie likes it. Small enough for her. Well, that's a strong opinion, Nellie. Hello! Did you come to choose your toys? What happened? Oh yeah, he likes that. Guys, you see this like thing they call kebab? It's called yucca and it's soft, so if you have smaller birds, sometimes it's really easy for them to chew. And it's a combo of both, just in case. And you case. can't find these things. Yeah, only Jungle Toys has them, right? There's other brands that have them, but Jungle Toys, I think, makes the best ones. What happened, Cody? Yeah, likes? she likes it. I'm gonna give it to you too, okay? Okay, I'll get another one for Vinny. That was in the Picasso box, actually. Somebody is still on the beats. Look what I found. This. Is like all their favorite toy. We have this in the first box. He made special colors with Picasso. This is something I'm testing out. You're gonna rip this in one second if I give you this. Look at Nelly. Who are we giving this one to? Anyone. Merlin might like it. So far, this is Leo's cage. This is also yucca, so it's soft. This is Cody's cage, so we'll put something near so he can chew, and then he can chew here. Oh, oh, this is, whose cage is this? Oh, Cody's in Vinny's cage. She's Yeah, she's after Marlene's signature blend. <laughs> Where's Jersey going? 
Jersey said, I've had enough of this. Oh my god, Monty likes this as well. Look who came out of nowhere. Someone came to play. Who does Brando playing with? Oh. Aww, he Who's likes his shoe. So we know what stuff to take to Brando's house. This is really good for Brando, guys, because Brando gets a lot of love, hugs, and kisses. Obviously, that's amazing for your bird, but you, when they're young or when they're new, you want to make sure that you give them a lot of toys because you also have to teach them to be self-sufficient and independent. They can rely on you and not be able to engage with toys. So it's really important that we find out what he likes right now. Putting all the toys out and having your birds play with them can be really cool. Like, Monty just like sitting on that, so I might just put that right on top of the cage for Monty to sit on. Okay, who's this for? Let's take a boat. How do you feel, Nelly? Nelly's sitting here all angry. What about this? Huh? All right, we need to work on Blue's cage. She's gonna be so happy. What does Brando say? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi, baby Monty. Hi, baby Monty. Play with this circle. Do you like this freaky circle now? What's up? Is that a new bell in Marlon's cage? No, he's not. I've never seen him play with it before. We just go about our normal lives with a parrot singing in the kitchen. Yeah, no, that's just that kind of stuff, are you? No. <laughs> I love jalapenos. Okay, guys, it's actually been hours because there's a lot of fine details that go into this. So let's do a finale of every single cage. So this is Jersey's house. We have a lot of toys in here. Here are the improvements we've made. This perch is now here for Jersey to play with be surrounded by toys. This is a new toy, which Jersey could reach from here. This is a foraging toy. I try to really put toys that Jersey can pull apart and play with small pieces like this. This is new. I've attached the pineapple. So in case she stands here, she can reach the pineapple. As you guys know, this yucca toy is extremely popular among my birds, so I put two next to each other. We have some string toy right here with this perch. I also exposed, this was already in here, but I exposed it and re, I put it in a better spot where she could play with these baby toys she likes. And then I hid another Planet Pleasures toy right here. And then another jungle toy. You guys know jungle toys are my favorite, jungle toys and Planet Pleasures. And then and this is actually just another string toy that she could play with. So we literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten toys in this cage. Then I put this here. My birds haven't been playing with it, but it's there. And then I also, we have this cat toy. Don't worry, it doesn't have any catnip. And the birds like to play in there as well and chew it up. What do you think, Jersey? She's a little in shock. As you guys can see, she doesn't know if she should be scared or not. Obviously, I'm not gonna lock her in or anything right now. I'm gonna let her come in and out, get used to it. Vinny's cage tour. So for Vinny, the new things we've added are, I don't know if we added any new perches, but we've added this cat wooden toy where he can sit on this perch. Also play with his favorite shoelaces. We have this, um, calcium stick, mineral stick actually. And we have the famous toy that they're all loving, but it's right next to a perch that he can stand on and choose a toy. These two toys are by Jungle Toys. I love Jungle Toys, they're in my boxes. And then we have this interesting toy. This I think was in Cody's house, so now we've repurposed that. And 
And so that is Vinny's cage. Let's get Vinny's reaction. See where you like to sit. Right there. So he's in there. Oh, of course he's going for that. Those are Vinny's favorite. All right, let's take a look at Cody's house, which Monty has invaded. So we put the Planet Pleasures toys here. We put some jungle toys here. Also put the guaranteed toy that they all seem to love right here. I added this perch. For Cody, this is a tiny bit small, but she has a really big one. She has a smaller one. So it's like large, medium, and tiny. So she can kind of just choose. Okay, look at Vinny, guys. Vinny's loving that new toy. We have this other toy. It's not completely new. I don't remember whose house it was in, but this is Cody's cage. Look at this. Some new stuff going on in there. Cody was already playing with this toy, but we moved it a little so that it wouldn't get in the food. Not a major reaction here. So this is Leo's house. This is new. This is a new perch for Leo. This is a Planet Pleasures toy. I like to have a variation of things. So this has like the straw. This has some cardboard. Leo doesn't play with toys so much. That's why I want to have lots of different things. This has like the string and rope. This has the yucca and wood. And so does this, the guaranteed toy. Like, I, it's not always guaranteed for your birds. Just mine seem to like it. So I've had success. So that's why I'm calling it that. Look, you have a new perch. You have a new perch. You like it? You want to make sure their head fits there when they stand tall. Let me move this close, see if he's interested. And then we have, this is a new addition, as I told you guys. Also a bit thin, but it's what I had. Um, but there's lots of different sizes here so that he can play with these two toys. I find that birds like to sleep on a shorter perch that's a little bit higher at night. Now we're on to Nellie's cage. Okay, first of all, this toy. They haven't really been playing with this or liking this. Now you guys see that there's some places to hang toys. The reason I don't put this here, but the reason I don't is because they love standing up here because my birds are out all the time. So it just messes up the toy. So as you can see, it's kind of bare up top but i will put a lot of foot toys and things for them you'll you guys will see so yeah bare tops for now but i'll have a lot of other things in there so let's look at what we did we attached these two cages just something to play with and we use this to attach the toy that monty was enjoying so nelly i always call her a storefront property she likes to sit right there she i haven't seen her play with many many toys so this is what we've done i've added this Planet Pleasures toy. I've added this other Planet Pleasures Dream Catcher toy. It's, I put it in the back just in case she stands here on this double perch. I have made this exposed a little more as well as this toy. So those are the things I put for Nelly. I'm gonna keep a watchful eye on her. She doesn't play with toys so much. I'm very proud of Monty though for playing with those toys that he liked. So let's look at Monty's house now. We have put the swing, okay? Cause I saw Monty on a swing before. This was the toy he was playing with over there. So I put that and added some bells on top. Also put this right here. And I added this one from Planet Pleasures in the back. It's a nice lightweight toy. So Monty has about four toys in there plus this addition plus this is where Nelly and Monty like to sit, so I added this just to see if they'll play with it. Let's look at Blue's house. Okay, what did George add here? <laughs> okay, Blue has this perch is now added. This perch wasn't here before. We have this other Planet Pleasures toy. We have the Pineapple Planet Pleasures toy. So that's next to the perch, and so is that. But I didn't want it to take up too much head space. I put this, a new one of these, the string toys that they like and a bell because we thought we might like to ring the bell. George made this toy recently. We'll see how this pans out. Okay, let's look at Merlin's house. Whoa, Merlin's house. Okay, so at first glance, this looks overwhelming, but let me show you what's going on. So this perch right here, not new, but it's a perch. We added the Peacock by Jungle Toys, my favorite, you guys know that. I have this little ring here, just so that if a bird's sitting here, it has something to just play with when Merlin's sitting there. We saw earlier that Merlin loves a spell, so that's still here. We moved to this perch. I realized it didn't have use where it was. So Merlin could sit there and play with this toy. As you guys know, one of my new favorites. Hidden behind here is this toy right here. 
Merlin can reach it with this perch. With this perch, Merlin can reach this bell toy, which I actually wanted to put one for Jersey, but we'll do that in the next round. And then <laughs> this was in Jersey's house. George said, let's try it for Merlin. We'll see. He said Merlin would like to swing on it. This used to be Merlin's swing and it broke and he used to swing down here. So we remade it and we'll see if Merlin uses it. And then for Brando, I saved this toy. Obviously, Brando's other favorite toy is here. And I'm I'm gonna add a few more little toys for Brando. Maybe these, just see how he reacts to those. I added a few little things for the budgie. The budgie has this little bell, just to ring. A new little mirror. And the budgie has this, um, kind of like this hut, because I know he's not gonna chew that. But he has been enjoying these little strings. So I gotta find a few more toys with strings for the budgie. The budgie has a little fruit and vegetable bowl up there, as you guys can see. Parkies gave us so much stuff. We'll see how he handles all of it. He's got like, he loves his bell. He never gets old. His swing, he's got like five big toys in here. Okay guys, now I'm feeding them all. This took all day. <laughs> some birds get the small blends, and some birds get the large blend. And all the birds are going to bed now. Good night, all the birds. And then this one has FOMO. Good night, Jersey. Hi. Hi, you're gonna go to bed now. I love you guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and spread the word engage, not cage. And by the way guys, subscriptions are now open. So if you wanna subscribe to the Feathered Fun Box, you now can, and check out all of these toys. Okay, lights gotta go off, love you guys. Hey guys, the Feathered Fun Box is our new subscription box of toys, treats, and other surprises for you and your bird. So don't forget to check the link below and get in on that. And guys, don't forget to check out my new line of organic bird food called Marlene's Signature Blend, made with tops. The link is below.